Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss about bitwise exclusive OR operator. Okay. So, what is the symbol for this? The symbol OR this operator is denoted by this cap symbol. This is what a cap symbol, right? This. So, by the help of this symbol, you can denote you can represent bitwise XOR operator. XOR means exclusive OR operator. Fine. So, this operator bitwise XOR operator performs a bitwise exclusive OR operation bit by bit. It is basically a binary operator which perform operations on two operands. So, now let's see the truth table for this bitwise exclusive OR operator. So, the truth table is first see the binary based truth table then we will see the boolean based. So, this A is what first operand and the B is what second operand. So, total we have two operands and the output is what we are performing a bitwise XOR operation between A and B and that is the output. Fine. So, if the A is 0 and B is 0, then you will get output as 0. If A is 1 and B is 0, then also you will get 1. If it is 0, means A is 0 and B is 1, then you will get the output as 1. And if both the operands A and B are 1, then you will get 0. Fine. Now, let's see the Boolean based truth table. So, if A is false and B is false, then you will get what? False. If A is true and B is false, then you will get what? True. If A is false and B is true, you will get true. And if both are true, you will get false. So, by observing this truth tables, what is the conclusion? The first conclusion is regarding this binary paste. So, returns 1 if both the operands are different. See the case where both the operands are different? These two cases. And see the case where both the operands are same? 0, 0 and 1, 1. And what is the output in this case? 0. And when it is 1? When both the operands are different. So, this is the first conclusion. Same goes for this Boolean based truth table also. Like returns true if both the operands or conditions are different. Fine. In this case, see, both the operands are different. True and false. And here, false and true. It is not like true and true and false and false. Operands are not same. Okay. Is it clear? So, you have to remember this two points. So, this bitwise XOR operator is also applicable for boolean and integral types. Make this thing clear. Now, let's see first the boolean. Means I want to apply this on boolean. So, this is one class bitwise operator. We have seen this class in the previous lecture also. Just I have made few changes like system.out.println. Here I am performing the bitwise exclusive operation on the boolean values like true and false. So, what is this? I am performing bitwise exclusive or operation between true and false. So, tell me what was the conclusion? The conclusion was returns true if both the operands are different. Here both the operands are different. First operand is true and the second operand is false. So, both the operands are different. So, you will get output as true. If you want to check this, let's check. Go to the notepad. Here I have already this class. Okay, and here we have the system.out.println statement. In the last lecture, we were performing the bitwise OR operation. Here I want to perform bitwise exclusive OR. So, here I have to put this cap symbol. Just this much is enough. Save this and go to the CMD and compile the program. Java C, then file name, enter, then run the program. So, like java and the bitwise operator what is the class name that you have to specify here right enter enter okay so see what is the output true that's what we have seen in our ppt the output is what true 
clear for the boolean case now let's see another case bitwise exclusive or operator for integral type fine example here i want to perform the bitwise exclusive or operation between the integral type data like 5 and 6 I want to perform the bitwise exclusive operation between 5 and 6. So how can I perform this or how it internally works? Internally, first thing is converting this 5 and 6 into binary. So equivalent binary for 5 is what? 0, 1, 0, 1 and equivalent binary for 6 is what? 0, 1, 1, 0. How to convert this? I have already teach in the previous lecture. So this is what the equivalent binary is. Now what you have to do, you have to perform a bitwise XOR operation of 5 and 6, right? So how to perform? Take a binary of, take a binary of what? 5 and take a binary of 6 and you have to perform the XOR operation bit by bit, bit by bit. So you have to remember one point. What was that point? that returns one if both the operands are different so see where both the operands are different for the first bit this bit one and zero one and zero both the operands are different so you will get one right for the second see this here zero and one both the operands are different so you will get one again here see one and one both the operands are same so you will get zero and zero and zero both the operands are same so you will get zero so you got output as zero zero one one what is the decimal of this decimal is three three is in decimal form means equivalent decimal for this binary is three so you will get output as what three here fine now let's see one example this example i have considered in the eclipse id i have uh, done this in which id eclipse id so i have this class bitwise xor operator so let's do in eclipse itself why to do time waste here right so this is my eclipse id i have the com.navin package right click new and then what you have to do create a class so inside this class what is the class name bitwise xor operator bitwise xor operator i want a main method also so i will click here this tick mark okay then finish it up so once it is done here i want the code which code i want see copy from the last example here is the example right so copy and paste only the thing that you want to change is you want to perform bitwise exclusive or operation between a and b just change the symbol here also to a cap symbol and see the result see the result what you will get right right click run as java application so see what is the result 3 so you will get 3 and how it internally works i have already explained this thing so you got the output as 3 i hope this bit bitwise exclusive or is pretty much clear to you if you still have doubt you can ask in the comment box I will surely reply. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our YouTube channel to get the further notification.